All right, watch this really quickly, and then we're going to get into um, its connection with a video that Zay Frank just posted recently. Go over his uh, email again, and then his ugly chud potato face pop up in front of me again. I'm so sick to the teeth of looking at his face and listening to his voice. I mean, if I ever fucking have to see him in real life, I might just spew chunks in his face and smell him. Ew. Oh, no, 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 I can't. No, no. All right. So, yeah, that's. So, yeah, that this is a video that I made over a year ago. I made it. Uh, I published it onto this, this, this very YouTube channel. You can scroll back and look at it. It's um, September 29th, 2022. And it's talking about an email that I sent to Zay Frank. Um, I think in the first year that I started investigating him um, for being part of a cult that I think engages in child abuse. Um, I'll also put a link to this uh, specific video in the link in, well, in the description for this video so you can just go click on that um, so again here I'm just showing you guys evidence that this is one of the very first videos I ever posted on YouTube talking about Zay Frank and how I think he's a part of a cult and this is actually me just showing some evidence um, for an email that I sent to him and quickly, I'm just going to play it one more time so that you can hear it again. Me making fun of his ugly chud face and saying I would spew chunks all over it if I ever had to see him in real life. That's the email that's, um, that's assigned to him. Go over his uh, email again and then his ugly chud potato face pop up in front of me again. I'm so sick to the teeth of looking at his face and listening to his voice. I mean, if I ever fucking have to see him in real life, I might just spew chunks in his face. And I might just spew chunks in his face. Now let's go look at... Let's go look at Zay Frank's newest short that he just released. It's actually from this video, this episode at the top here, True Facts. Uh, mindless peckers, pigeons are tricking you. So this is um, a much, it's a longer video, obviously. It's 11 minutes, 50, se 50 seconds. But he's chopped it up into clips, into shorts. And here in his most recent short, Pigeon Love, um, he's showing scenes from his video and he's playing the song that he wrote for the end of the video. So I'm just gonna uh, play the first few seconds. You don't puke in my mouth no more. You don't. That's all I need. You don't puke in my mouth no more. Also, you don't drag your tail on the floor. Let's, uh. Drag his tail on the floor. Drag his tail on the floor. Um, you don't puke in my mouth no more. You don't drag his tail on the floor. Um. I already made a video, uh, that I posted just prior to this one. Um talking about this I just wanted to give a little bit more evidence and go into it a little bit more um, so again I think that he wrote that song with those specific lyrics um, for me he's referencing me I'm sorry I know that sounds very narcissistic and self-centered um, but again keep in mind for like a couple of years now at least I have been openly, publicly accusing him of being in a cult network um, that engages in incest and child trafficking, child abuse. He has certainly heard of me at this point. Someone has certainly pointed me out to him, although I think that he knew about me before I even posted my first video about him. Um, I do think that Zay Frank keeps tabs on me to some extent. I think that he definitely checks my YouTube channel to see the videos that I'm posting. And I think that he looks at my blog where I um, write posts uh, about how I think that he's connected to a cult. And the symbols that he uses specifically 
What I point out and, and analyze are the symbols that he's using and referencing in his videos, um, the sort of esoteric phil philosophies behind these symbols, and how they are connected to devil worship and child abuse. Um, so, and this is also kind of to point out to you guys again, say Frank and I have sort of been having a conversation with each other with our videos. I will say something in one of my videos. I'm more open-ended about it, and he's more secretive about it. I say something in one of my videos or over the, over the course of like a couple of videos, and then he will release a video that references a lot of the things that I say. Um, but he's just trickier about it because obviously, again, considering what I'm accusing him of, he's not going to come right out and say, um, yeah, Kat, I know about you. I know that you're accusing me of being in a child trafficking cult. Um, and yeah, you're right. He's not going to do that. Um, for whatever reasons you guys want to give to him other than um, cowardice. All right, so I'm gonna try not to judge. Um, so you don't puke in my mouth no more. I, I think I mentioned in the last video, yeah, I mean, obviously your mouth is in your face. And I said that I would spew chunks all over his face if I ever had to see him face to face. Um, what he actually released a video right after that one so let's go down to his sea cucumbers video sea cucumbers here it is sea cucumbers let's have a look at fact by the time you know so i'm not going to play it for you um but i just want to show you the date that it was released on youtube um, and you guys can just go back and watch this for yourselves. Go find it on his YouTube channel. Uh, True Facts Sea Cucumbers. He released this October 7th, 2022. So remember, I released mine in September 2022. Um, I think more towards the end of, end of t September, if I recall. Um, and he re released his in the beginning of October. So not even a month later, he released this video about sea cucumbers. And the one of the very first scenes in this video about sea cucumbers, he talks about sea cucumbers spewing ejaculate all over each other. Hmm, what a coincidence. And then he's after I've, you know, recently been making a bunch of videos talking about how I, you know, I think he's lazy and I um I think he and his he and his little cult are um one of the biggest sources of tragedy and trauma in our society um really just kind of uh shitting all over him he then releases this pigeon video with this cute little song that he wrote um again let me point out to you guys that i made just before he posted that video I posted a blog blog post here. This is my blog, Celebrity Range List. It's on WordPress. You can go find it. And we're all just children hurting each other. On May 7th, I posted this little blog post called We're All Just Children Hurting Each Other, Forgiving Zay Frank for Being a Dick. And um, I'm primarily talking about uh, the Babylonian goddess Inanna, or Ishtar, and I'm sort of likening myself or comparing myself to her in this post, in this blog. Um, you can go back, I'll let you go back and read this for yourself if you'd like. Uh, just keep in mind that Inanna and or Ishtar, this goddess, this particular goddess, is often symbolized with a dove or a pigeon. Pigeons and doves are inter interchangeably used as a symbol um, for a few, di a few different things. The Holy Spirit, um, innocence and purity, uh, and obviously and Inanna the Goddess. So I released this, I released this on May 7th, comparing myself to Inanna, uh, who is often represented with a dove. And then Zay Frank released his 
his little pigeon video. Oh, I'm going to have to start it all over. And there it is. Um, with his little song, you don't puke in my mouth no more. Um, you don't drag your tail on the floor. So I, I, <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure, but I have to wonder if the whole, uh, drag his tail on the floor, uh, feels like he, <sighs> it could be one option that it could be is I'm not dancing anymore. I used to, back when I was first investigating him, I was dancing a lot for the sake of getting exercise and keeping my core muscles strong, just putting on headphones and dancing around. And I, again, I do think he's kind of stalking me. So uh, he probably knows that I haven't been doing that so much anymore. Just haven't really felt very lively. Um, or much like I even, to be honest, want to keep myself healthy considering the quality of my life taking a nosedive since I, I started investigating these jerks. Um, and I think that's in no small part because of them and them um, hiring people to gang stalk me and so on and so forth. And, um, but it could mean something, some, something else. I feel like it's possible it means something else. Um, Again, I will point out to you guys, so just in case, for those of you who are like, but it's he, he just wrote those words for the song because he pointed out in his video, in his longer pigeon video, um, he points out how, as a, a, um, a mating ritual, a courtship ritual, pigeons will puke in each other's mouths. So in this video here, at a certain point, he makes note of that particular fact about the pigeon. Well, um, and I will uh, point out to you guys that he didn't have to make a point of telling us that that particular fact. Uh, so, uh, keep in mind, guys, there are a lot of interesting facts about the pigeon that he neglected to put in that video. Um, here's one, let me show you an example. Pigeons produce milk. Do you guys know that? So I learned this uh, almost 20 years ago, back when I was an art student in Chicago. Um, this is a very interesting fact about p pigeons, I think, and one that he definitely, he, he totally should have included in the video that he made about pigeons. I think it's, there, it's ripe for, for, um, for humor. He really could have turned this into some pretty funny jokes. So why did he choose to leave this particular fact out of his video, but included the fact that they puke in each other's mouths? So you see, artists... Media creators, content creators, they cherry pick facts, symbols, wording that suits the point they are trying to make with whatever bit of media they are producing. All right? So he already had a point that he was trying to make. He already had a message he was trying to get across with his pigeon video. And he cherry picked certain very specific facts about the pigeon to include in that video that that would help him get his point across all right and he left out other other facts that were just as interesting just as valid um because they didn't suit his narrative all right so um so yeah <clears throat> this is another oh my goodness very strange coincidence that um so so shortly after let's see when did he when did he release the pigeon video? Um, One of the better okay. things that I decided to do in my adult- Thank you. May 16th. And remember, I released that, I published that blog post on May 7th. So about nine days later, he released the pigeon video. All right? 
So it's sort of tit for tat. I say I'm going to spew chunks in his face. He talks about cucumbers spewing ejaculate all over each other. Um, a few days later, maybe a couple of weeks later. Um, I'm sure it takes a little bit of time at least to get these videos together. Um, then I um, make a series of videos making fun of him and um, talking shit on him and he may and then I post a blog uh, post saying comparing myself to Inanna, a goddess who is associated with the dove or pigeon and then he puts out a video about pigeons uh, talking about how the pigeon love is gone and the pigeon love is over. So um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I wanted to include in this specific video. Um, I really just wanted to make sure that I got the example in there and I will post some links to the description of this video. Again, to, to the videos I'm referencing here in the blog posts and so on. I really just wanted to make sure that I got this particular little bit of evidence in there and showed you guys, yeah, here, look. I already talked about throwing up all over him. Uh, in his face and would likely, if you think about it, if you projectile vomit in someone's face, it's if their mouth is even a little bit open, it's probably gonna get in their mouth too. So, um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Go over his uh, email again, and then his ugly chud potato face pop up in front of me again. <sighs> I'm so sick to the teeth of looking at his face and listening to his voice. I mean, if I ever fucking have to see him in real life, I might just do chunks in his face and smell him. Ew, oh, no, 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 I can't. No, no, all right, so yeah, that's, that's the email.